Hi, I'm Rhoda. Welcome to my channel. Today's workout is a simple but not easy superset strength workout for women. This is a great workout if you've been strength training for a while. You can increase your weight and really work on your technique. If you're just starting out, this is a great way to learn uh, isolation moves that target specific areas of your body. By building lean muscle, you're going to increase your metabolism over time. And as we age, that is important to us, right? If that's a type of workout that appeals to you, please subscribe to my channel. There's never a cost to subscribe, and you help me keep your fitness free on YouTube. Are you ready? Let's go. Ready? Let's go. Start to swing those arms, bring those knees up. I am using three sets of weights. I have a light, medium, and heavy set. Knees up in front. If you have options, get them around you. If you're just starting out, you have a pair of dumbbells, that's great. If not, hit the pantry. Grab a couple of cans of soup or bottles of water. That will work just fine. The goal for beginners here is to learn your form. Proper form is super important. And then maybe step out of your comfort zone a little bit. Reach out. Strength training can be scary if you're just starting out. Those of you that have been with me for a while know our goal is heavier weight. We're not going to get bulky. We're just going to get lean and tone. And lean tone muscles burn more calories resting than fat. So increasing your resting metabolic rate is a great goal. Because as we age, we lose lean muscle. So our metabolism goes down. We don't want that to happen. So let's keep that muscle nice and strong. I am going to start with my heaviest weight. We're working shoulders first. I'm going to hold this weight, palms facing your body, facing your legs. I'm going to hinge forward. Now my back is flat. My knees are slightly bent. I'm going to pull this weight straight up to my shoulder area, chest area, as if it were a bar. Ready? Pull, release. Nice and slow. At the top, you're going to squeeze those shoulder blades. If you need a break on the lower back, you come up every three or four reps, or stay down here if you're more advanced. The key is, think about your weight, body weight, in your heels. Push your body weight through your heel. That's going to protect your knee, and it's also going to give you good stability and balance. Set these aside. I'm going to my medium weight. This is a superset. That means we do the exercises more than once. We're going to do them twice in this particular workout. Palms face me. I'm going to push this weight up. See how I have the box? It's like the bottom of a box right here. I'm pushing back to the box. In other words, you're not coming down like this. Okay? It's actually going to make it harder if you do that. Push it up. Control it down. Now think about your neck. Try and relax your neck, especially if you're lifting heavy here. The tendency to want to throw momentum in here, like push it, right? Really try and control this up and control it down. Breathe. My legs, as you can see, are in a staggered stance. We'll talk about that the next time we do these overhead shoulder presses. I'm back to the shoulder rows. I'm going to go back to my heavy weight. I'm going to keep challenging myself. Palms are facing my legs. I'm going to hinge forward. Weight is in my heels. Pull to the shoulder area and release. My back is nice and flat. Keeping my eyes about three feet in front of my toes, which is keeping my neck aligned with my spine and not hurting my neck. And I am breathing. Especially if you're just starting out, focus on breathing. We learn things. Tendency to hold our breath. Don't hold your breath. Deep breathing. Now, if these moves get too challenging with the weight, you can put the weight down and do the motions. Start with weight and then put the weight down. Keep going with us, or do take a break and come back in for the next round. Here we go. Up and down. Now, my feet, like I say, are staggered. I have one foot forward, one back. This is comfortable for me. It gives me a good base. But if this feels more comfortable for you, 
I just want you to make sure you're not locking your knees. Your legs are straight, but you're not locked. And if you stagger, it does not matter which foot is in front. Do what's comfortable for you. 10 more seconds and rest these shoulders. All right, put the weight down, 30 seconds, grab some water, you want to stretch it out, stretching between, between rounds here, we have 30 seconds, blood flowing back to the area we just worked. I'm going to grab my heavy weight now, we're going lower body, classic superset here, squats and deadlifts. So, I got some options for you, squat and stand or rear leg lift. The squats are too much. Weight in your heels, drive it up. The squats are too much. You're going to do the rear leg lift. You're going to get the glute work, the bum, and protect your joints right there. Otherwise, down, up, and squeeze. Weights in the heels, drive through the heels, hips forward, squeeze the glutes right there. Down and up. Big muscles of the lower body. We can lift heavy. And rest. Now, back to that deadlift position. Palms facing the body. Feet shoulder width apart. Weight in the heels. Drive your hips back. Flat back. Down to right about the knee level. You're going to push through the heels. Drive the hips forward. Squeeze the glutes. Ready? Here we go. Down. Up and squeeze. Weight in the heels. Back of the leg is going to stretch there. And feel that. But that hamstring, the back of the leg, is working to bring you upright. Down and up. Work in the front and the back of the legs with this superset. Good. All right, second round. Back to those squats or rear leg lifts, right? That's the way to take that bend out. Deep breath. See, the heart rate gets up when we do this strength work. That's the bonus. Ready? Here we go. Weight in the heels, drive through the heels, hips forward, squeeze. If you're just doing strength work for the very first time, I'm so glad you're here. I started doing strength work, I was 38, so 20 years ago. 21. My birthday's in a few days. <laughs> ah. But I've never done it before that. So if this is new to you and your 40s or beyond, totally okay. Everything you do is just going to make your life better from here on out. Going back to those deadlifts. It's never too late. It's never too late to take care of your body. Ready? Deadlifts down and up. Here we go. You know what? You're worth it. Take a little bit of time for you. I know it's hard. Women, you know, we got so much going on, right? Uh, I had three children at home at one time, so I get it. I had a job, I went to gyms, you know. Busy, busy, busy. But by taking the time for you, you're better at everything else. We really are. It's not selfish. I've had clients tell me that's selfish. No. I just selfish not to, you know? Really. Take that time. Treat your body well. Step back and let that toe stretch. And then be a better mom, a better wife, a better employee, a better business owner. Whatever it is you do, it's just going to enhance what you do. All right, I'm going to grab my chair. So grab your chair. Sit on a coffee table. I'm going to grab my heavy weight to start here. Doing back rows. Now sit with me, hinge forward, flat back, pulling up and down right here. Pull back and down. Pull back and down. Ready? Jumping in a little late here, I right know. Getting a little bit of a stretch there on the back of the leg. Now, as this weight comes up, squeeze the shoulder blades. A little different than that shoulder row, though. We're down into the back area, right around those shoulder blades, the lats, the rhomboids looking about a foot in front of my toes, 
getting my neck aligned. Up and down, good. Okay, I'm gonna lighten up a little bit. We're going to flies. That means that the weight's gonna be farther away from my body and it creates more weight, actually. Longer levers. All right, palms are facing in, back is flat. A little bend in the elbows, squeeze the shoulder blades. Squeeze. Eyes are a foot ahead of your toes. Breathe. So when the weight is far away from the body like this, gravity is pulling on the weight, but it's also pulling on your arms. So it's making this weight heavier than it would be if we were rowing it, which we're gonna do here in a second. And that's all these right there, because we're gonna go back to that one more time. Pin up my heavier weight for the rows. And if you're using one set of weights or you're using soup cans or water bottles, see the difference? See how much easier this one is. Pull, rest. This one is easier if you're using the same weight as you used for your fly. You'll notice that this is the move that you could go heavier on. Close to the body, pulling straight up from the ground. Gravity is pulling on the weight, but not really pulling on your arms in addition to the weight. It's pulling on your arms. Good, all right, and back to those flies. Flies. Ready? Flat back, palms facing the legs, squeeze the shoulder blades, squeeze, release. Relax your neck, keep those eyes focused a foot in front of your toes, hinging from the waist here. I have my light weights there. Those are my bailout weights. I thought, you know, if I'm doing my flies and it's just too much, I can go to my lighter weight, but I'm doing fine. <laughs> your ability to lift changes based on your rest. Did you sleep well? Did you eat well yesterday? All of those things make a difference. Now, we're gonna rest 30 seconds. I'm gonna move my chair. Put on my way here. What you eat really matters. Sugar, especially processed carbs and processed foods, can make you sluggish. I'm going to stick with my medium weights, head it into a wide squat, so our toes are out to the corner of our rooms, our ankles are farther than our knees, our knees are farther than our hips. Knees out, down, sit low, up and squeeze, or little bend, up and squeeze. Activate, squeeze the glutes. So as deep as feels comfortable to you, weight is in my heels. I'm keeping my shoulder and chest proud. So I am hinging a little bit forward, just by nature of the move. But I'll show you what I'm not doing. I'm not doing this. See the difference? Shoulders up. Make this about the lower body right there. Down and up. Good. All right. Now, working these glutes, curtsy. We're going to step back nice and deep. Drive through your front foot up, or step back, engage. Bring the foot up, ready? Here we go. Let's go right like that. Curtsy. Now I am hinging forward on this one. I'm keeping my back flat. Keeping the weight back on my leg. I'm not putting the weight out forward. Remember your mods here, okay? Still engaging that glute. Not working into the knee. Protect the knees. That's what you need to do. If you have pain, that's what you need to do. Okay? Now, depending on what causes the pain, you may be able to develop and strengthen the muscles around those joints and decrease your pain. But it really does depend. If you have arthritis, if you have bone on bone, there's not a lot you can do about that. Here we go, wide squats other than modify and work around it. It's still gonna give you benefit to do this strength work. You're just gonna modify it enough that you get the muscle work without impacting the joint. Down and up. Squeeze 
squeeze at the top. Wait in the heels, squeeze at the top. Good. All right, second set of curtsies. One of my favorite lunges right here. You have to do lunges, curtsies and side lunges. They're the good ones. The other ones, no, <laughs> I don't like them. All right, right leg back. They work, so we do them. You'll see them on occasion. Down and up. But they're not my favorite. We're all gonna have things we love, things we're not so happy with. <laughs> but we should do them all. As long as it feels safe, it doesn't hurt. It's a benefit. We want the benefit. thigh, outer thigh with the super set here. And now we are resting. Grab some water. Keep hydrated. We are on to arms. So, starting with the bicep curl. Elbows in. Upper arm does not move. Bring the weight up. Squeeze and down. Here's something I see a lot. Rotating that wrist. Keep that wrist neutral. Don't do that. There's no need to do it. It just Put strain on your wrist. Ready? Shoulders up, elbows in. My elbows don't move. They're touching my body through the whole move. I'm keeping a loose grip on the weight. I'm not squeezing the weight at the top. I'm just squeezing the bicep. Squeeze. With a nice loose grip on the weight. And I'm not turning my wrist at all. My wrist stays in the same position all the way up, all the way down. Sexy arms, that's what we want. Okay, triceps, back of the arm. Now we are, are alternating here, so I'm gonna stick with my heavier weight. This is a small muscle, but we're gonna lift and in, and lift. So, come with me. You're using a variety of weights. Try your heavier first. Lower the weight if you need to, but by this alter, alternating pattern right here, a little rest in that muscle. You can go heavier, Make it change. Make it work. Versus light, where you're not getting deep in that muscle. So, light to some people is not light to other people, too. All at different points, and that is okay. And we go to the other side to balance. There. Now, you should be feeling those arms. We work the front of the upper arm and the back of the upper arm. Also work on the forearm with these curls. And go back to that bicep curl. Deep breath. Exhale. Smile, because we're getting there. Curl it up and down. We have two supersets after this one. And you are on your way. Remember your hand position. Remember your wrists. Elbows in. A lot to think about, I know my job to help you think about it. <laughs> when I'm talking to you and giving you instruction, I am instructing myself as well. Because my form falls apart, and I'll catch it. And so I figure maybe you could use the cueing as well. <laughs> All right, good. Shake that out. Last time for curls right there. Back to those triceps. I want you to really lift here. Make it work. Make that work right there. Because we want that to be nice and strong and tone, right? Right arm first, deep breath, here we go. Twist it up, lift, lift. Tendency to wanna to lift your shoulders here, up here. Try and keep them strong, but relaxed. Don't crunch the neck. Make this about the back of your arm. Feel it. And I hope you're feeling that your heart rate's up a little bit too. That happens during strength work, so we're getting some cardio fat burning on the low end of our cardio range, which is a nice bonus. Good. All right, we are going down to the mat, so grab your weight, bring it nearby. I'm gonna start with a chest press, so we're doing a set of chest here. I'm gonna give you some uh, options. I'm going with my heavy weight with a press. Hold it like a bar across my chest. Push my back 
Doing that, we push it up and down. You want to make this more advanced. Bring your heels in, drive your hips up. Making this a decline press right here. Push and release. Push. We're just starting out. Right here is where I want you. I want you to focus on this chest. This is all about focusing on learning proper form. So let's just start here. Press it up. Now, there's something that I see a lot. Click the weights at the top, right? We push it and we touch them. No, don't do that. <laughs> push them straight up and resist them down. Think about if you had a bar in your hand, right? Your hand position couldn't move because the bar is attached. So you want to think about that as you're doing the chest press. And hold the weight accordingly. All right, lightening it up. Going on to a fly. Open, close, more advanced. Bring your knees up. Okay, otherwise, stay with me. Elbows are slightly bent as I come up. Now, when we talk, the weight does touch itself right here, each other. My arms stay slightly bent. It's like hugging a big barrel right here. Feel that chest. Squeeze this down. Hug the barrel up. I'm using a lighter weight. Why? Because the weight is far away from the body, right? Just like with those flies on our back. Gravity's pulling on the arms too. Making this more than the eight pounds I actually have in my hands. Good. All right, switching it up. Going back to my heavy. Thinking about it being a bar. Remember to bring your heels in and drive through your heels, hips up if you want to advance this a little bit. Deep breath. Push it up and down. Push. Think about your lower back. Make sure it's touching the mat all the way down the back. No space there. It's going to help you support this press, especially if you're going heavier. You'll feel the back of your arms assisting here as well. A little bit of bicep, since we just worked those. They're going to be a little fatigued. Excellent. Okay, back to flies. Palms facing each other. Advanced, get those legs up. Just brings in your core more, but don't worry, we have a core superset coming, so we're just beginning right here. And your arms are fatigued, you're tired. Do your best. Take a rest if you need to, but push yourself, all right? It should burn. You should be fatigued. And so it's a good thing to kind of take inventory of that. Are you tired? If you are not, guess what? Yeah, <laughs> get some weight, get some heavier weight. Sound like a broken record, I know. I was afraid to lift heavy weight once too. You know, I had my five pounders and that was it. And that was all I was gonna use because I didn't want to get bulky. That was before I was a trainer. I became a trainer in my late thirties when I started exercising and found out I loved it. All right, knees up. Hands are up. We're going to bring the hands overhead, leg out, and up. Other side, and up. Now, starting out, you're going to tap your toe down, bring it up, keep that knee bent right here. All right, a little bit of modification. Here we go. Straight leg, and up, or tap, and up. Both hands are going over the head. Think about that lower back. Push it to the mat. Keep that core strong. So let's qualify that loving exercise thing. I don't love to hit play either, necessarily. I mean, some days totally into it, yes. But there are days, I have no motivation. I'm gonna put the feet together, knees out, hands behind the head, support your neck. Your hands are a basket. You're gonna lift shoulder blades up, push the mid body to the mat and down. Keep your eyes on the ceiling. Ready? Up and down. Lift and lower. So yeah, I uh, have motivation issues too. <laughs> I really try to grab onto what I'm feeling right now, which is accomplished, strong, like I've moved my body, and something good for myself. But yeah, it's hard to start sometimes, I get it. And people think that us trainers are superhuman. We're not, 
<laughs> we don't necessarily love it all the time either. <laughs> Up and down. But we do recognize the benefit. And that's why I'm here with you. Because I want you to have the benefit too. Alright, we have two exercises left. First is our dead bug, it's called. Both arms overhead, one leg out or one toe touching. And we'll go back to those frog crunches and we're done. Ready? Here we go. This channel is for over 40 because I became a trainer in the very late 30s. I started exercising at 38. And uh, so I recognize over the past 20 years what's good and what was not, things I did right and things I did not do right. I did way too much hip impact work. So this channel is designed to keep you safe as we age. 40 and beyond, if you're just starting and you're maybe in your late 30s, that's totally fine. I mean, this is designed for us that aren't 20 something, okay? There are plenty of channels out there like that. This is not that. Keep your eyes on your ceiling, push your back to the mat, shoulder blades up, here we go. Squeeze and release. By keeping this impact safe and protecting joints, you can come back regularly. This is a 30 minute workout, but if you have a short amount of time, there are even 10 minute workouts on the channel. You can focus on your glutes or your abs or your shoulders. Find a nice short workout. Consistency is way more important than length of time each day. There it is. Get your legs out. Whoops, don't keep your weight. <laughs> Arms over your head, stretch. How do you feel? You just completed a really good targeted superset. We targeted everything. Right, bring those knees up, one knee in. Let's extend it up. If you have more time and you'd like a longer stretch, head on over to the playlist for stretches and you'll find anything from seven to 20 minutes over there. I will do, I usually link something in here. You can hop on over too. Bend this knee, put it on the other knee, and push out. Good. Bring this knee in. We're going to lay this leg down. Watch your weight. <laughs> Bring the knee across. Now, reach across, reach away with the upper body. Relax your shoulder. Keep your eyes on your ceiling. Feel this nice stretch that comes up the bicep. Press front of the shoulder into the chest. Get a nice glute stretch too. Great. Okay, other side. Get your hips aligned. Feel nice and straight before we go into this. Bring the knee in. Foot up. Now the back of the leg stretch. Stretching out that lower body work. Especially the deadlifts right here. And this knee, put the foot on the other knee. Push. Knee in. Lay the leg down. Bring the leg across. How did you do? Reach away. Did you challenge yourself? You've been at this a while. Did you use some heavy weight? You're a beginner. Did you learn some good form? I hope so. That was the goal. If you like the workout, one more time on your back, reach the hands over your head. If you like the workout, hit the thumbs up underneath the workout. That will put this in your library. We can find it easily. You can go back and do it again. Each time you do it, you're going to find you're going to do a little better. Bring the foot up. Grab the foot if you can. If not, just bend the knee. Push the hip towards your mat. You're going to feel that stretch in the front of your leg. Let's go to the other side. Grab it if you can, maybe grab the back of your shoe, your sock, the pant leg, or just bend the knee. Alright, let's come on up, hands and knees. Put the toes together, knees out. Rocking into a child's pose. You're going to stretch your glutes here, your inner thigh, upper back, bend the knee. 
Bend your elbows, bring your hands behind your head and put some body weight down on these elbows. This is a great stretch, getting the triceps. So much happening here. Try and relax into this. You're tensing any muscles. Really focus on making them relax. down, let's come on up, have a seat, big smile because you did it, let's twist across one knee, We're looking out over the outside shoulder, let's come to the other side, and back to front, rolling the shoulders out, remember the beginning we started there, shoulders, having nice shoulders makes everything look good. Hands right in front of you. I just want you to roll forward, drop your head, relax. I just noticed I was tensing my quads of all things, so I'm gonna relax them. And come on up. Have a wonderful day. Thank you for joining me. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. That way when you open your YouTube, you'll see the latest videos right there on your homepage. Have a great day. We'll see you next time.